driveway it's a saturday night you look like a million bucks wearing that dress i like you're smiling but there's something all right so we got here to erewhon fall it's a national park so you have to pay to get in the cost was 300 baht per person for, four. for foreigners and it's 30 baht for a thai around that yeah around that for a um, for thai and then it is 60 baht for a car park or 20 baht for a motorbike so there's a little bit of a charge to get in, but obviously it's a national park. You have to park all the way back at sort of the information desk or the um, visitor center. And then you have to walk from there. And we got a map and it looks like a really long way to walk um, all the way from the visitor center to the falls. So we thought we were in for a big walk, with the, especially with our bags on our backs. But it's actually not that far. I mean, we're walking it right now, but I think that actual waterfall is only about 500 meters away. But she was telling us it was two kilometers and I think that's all the way to the top. So to number seven, we'll see how to we number feel. Seven. Yeah, it's we'll really, really hot. It's today. so hot today, and everyone, you guys were telling me that Kanchanaburi is like one of the hottest places. And how did I not know that? Well, I know it now. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so let's let's. Ooh, breathe and let's hike to the waterfall. So a few of you were actually telling me to go to level seven and to hike basically the whole way. And honestly, I really wanted to, but I didn't get very much sleep last night and I didn't have a very good night at the accommodation that we had, but I'm gonna tell you that story over lunch later after we go to the waterfall, so stick around for that. So while we are walking in the really hot, probably 50 degree weather right now to the waterfall, um, if you're liking this Kanchanaburi series, make sure you do like and subscribe. Number one, it means a lot to me. Number two, it really helps my channel. So, also, I know this is the Kanchanaburi series, but we are going to go to different provinces again, so make sure you leave them down below. We're just planning our trips at the moment, so comment below. And also comment if you think I'm going to get to the top, because <laughs> whew, it's really hot here. Oh, can you hear the bugs? Wow, they're so loud. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Let's have a drink, just relax all your problems. You also apparently have to get a life jacket and they don't allow you to swim in the waterfall without one. I mean, um, maybe they will and they just say Yeah, that. maybe maybe they will and we just bought them, but it says that you can't swim without them. 20 baht each per person for a two hours. So we just kind of decided to go straight up to level three because level one and two were really busy. Uh, it's probably better to come earlier in the day if you'd like a little bit quieter. But we're heading up straight to number three now. I think it's hot. Um, I've got sweat dripping from every pore in my body. Um, I think this is good. I can't really see anyone here. Is it a little bit further up? I see people up there. Yeah, this isn't three. Oh, it's not. It's just pretty. It's a bridge, yeah. All right, well, let's keep going to number three. Me what it's like to okay, so I made the very silly call to keep going from number three to number yeah, good spot in three. Number four, and it's actually really hard. Now keep in mind, I'm a little unfit at the moment, and I'm carrying probably a 20 kilo bag, but it's very steep up those stairs, so keep that in mind. So you may think I've gone in yet with all the water on my face, but it's not water, it's sweat. All right, let's pop in. Seafall's worth the hype. Oh, there's so many fish. It's okay. <gasps> just, just flash through them. <laughs> what if I step on one? You won't step on one. <laughs> Babe, just go. Just get it! Yeah, I know. I'm telling you to face the fears and go. <laughs> They're all watching you the fish. Just go. <laughs> she said just go. <laughs> <laughs> You go first. You no, go you go feed in. They're and everywhere. Yeah, feed in. They're gonna, they're gonna come more to you if you don't disrupt them. From them? Go this way, maybe. Feet down. Hey. Go, 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 go. that but they were like biting my feet like it was like actually kind of scary um and i'm really glad honestly i wasn't gonna get the life belt the life jacket but i'm glad because now i can just sit in the water we can eat it yeah we can just sit here and like oh. relax <laughs> guys you don't understand if you watched 
I think it was yesterday's video how I jumped in the, the river at the floating um, hotel we stayed in. My biggest fear is like water and things in the water and now I'm swimming when I know things are in the water, like literally right there. And I'm kind of, <laughs> it just scares me. <laughs> it's like my biggest fear, that's why it's so scary. It's so cold, it's like really refreshing. And now we can just sit and get eaten by these fishies. <laughs> no, it's not Found. fish. <laughs> They're just nibbling up my arms and legs. <laughs> I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile. I'm moving closer to you now. I can't get close enough somehow. And I was down until you saved me. Until you said. So we just realized that we have to go like right now because we have to get from Iran Waterfall to Kanchanaburi, which is about an hour, hour and a half on the motorbike. Then we have to go from Kanchanaburi to Bangkok on the train, which takes about three hours. And then we have to go from Bangkok to Chiang Mai on a plane, which takes about an hour. So to, in order to catch the train to get us to Bangkok, we have to leave like now. <laughs> so unfortunately, we have to go a little bit faster than before. We might not have time to stop for food, but I'll try my best and we'll see what we can do. Oh no! And we're running a little bit late, so we just kind of had to take a little ride to the train station. Uh, if you remember our first day here, we said that um, one, one drove past us and we said we might have to do that before we leave. And now we did by accident. <laughs> we're gonna just make it. And we're probably just gonna make the train. It's uh, the train leaving in less than probably five minutes. So we maybe just make it. down this one. Oh, we did it. Okay. All right, we have about almost three hours on this train all the way back to Bangkok. How do you feel? I'm wrecked. I don't even think it's gonna get there at six o'clock. We have booked our flights dependent on the train getting there at 5.30 because that's what the schedule says. So we're probably gonna miss our flights now too, so. Just took like an hour, basically grab ride to the airport. But we're here. But we're here to be positivity. positivity and to be positive. So we're just about to check in to go okay. through security and then go yeah, to yeah. Chiang Mai, so let's go. Time to get a little bit real and honest with you. I know that it, I'm supposed to be positive and being positive is good, I understand, but I am sitting here, my phone's gone dead because we didn't have a charger on the train or anything or in the taxi or in the 50, uh, it was 50 minutes by grab to get here. So my phone's been dead, I'm just, my GoPro's about to die. I was actually gonna sit here and edit. We have to board the plane in like 20 minutes. Um, we just got here. I actually just had a Lawson uh, chicken and rice meal because we haven't eaten all day. We're gonna go take you to lunch with us and we didn't have time. We had to come here straight away. My burns hurt so bad. It is very painful. Um, I feel like a cooked chicken tomato. <laughs> I've either vlogged to go up in the morning. Um, so I have until now and it's nine o'clock at night. <laughs> till 8 a.m. to edit my vlog and I just wanted to edit on the plane but my laptop's out of battery because it also couldn't be charged. <laughs> Sometimes travel just takes it out of you, I'm just gonna be honest. Let's get home to Chiang Mai. 
Hey everyone, so it is a few days later. It was a really big travel day that day and it was just a big day. I was so tired. I got home and basically fell asleep. What I'm going to talk about now is just coming off the back of my last video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm going to leave it linked up below or in the description just so you know what I'm talking about. We stayed in an accommodation that uh, I was I walked away from being a little bit disappointed. I needed a few days to just calm down I just wanted to touch on a few things. I'm not here to leave a bad review. I'm not here to be negative I've had time to come to terms with everything and see everything from a bigger picture So I'm not here to give a bad or negative review of the place. I personally on purpose didn't name where we stayed because I don't want anyone to think that that's what I'm doing and if you do work out who where it, we stayed or what we did or whoever it was the name of the place please don't put it in the comments below I don't want anyone to go and leave a bad review or anything just based off my experience um, but I did want to explain why I was so disappointed to an extent I'm just upset because I wanted the experience of staying in the bubble we really only got to be on it for I don't know maybe three four hours maybe it was really expensive it was a lot of money for one night they did give us another room for us to stay in i don't know honestly we looked it up and it was pretty much the cheapest room and the that kind of reflected in i think why i was so sad the room wasn't nice we did have a few problems with the room again don't want to leave a bad review but it was quite uncomfortable to stay in um, not aircon wise it was really cool the standard and quality of the room wasn't there for me um, they did have other rooms that were nicer so I don't think I would have been as disappointed if we had a nicer room to stay in if we weren't going to use the bubble uh, also I guess the fact that they gave us the room kind of makes me feel like they knew it was going to be too hot <laughs> basically everyone else that was staying there ended up in the rooms that they were given so that does tell me it wasn't just me who <laughs> thought it was a little bit hot they had an air cooler or air con whatever you want to say but it gave us cold air for a little bit and then it just made like a clicking noise and then blasted hot air uh, we were in the bubble for about 30 seconds until we were dripping with sweat so I'm not being dramatic but it was too hot to be in there the staff the people who brought us the food the people who checked us in the people who brought us down to where we were staying and everything were amazing the service that we got from the place that we stayed in was really good really good it was it was up there to reflect the price however the accommodation and the stay and the room that I ended up staying in instead of the bubble didn't so that's where i guess i was a little bit upset so we did leave in the morning but when we went to check out they asked us to pay for the food that we ate and it was about two thousand baht worth of food which is about 80 or 90 australian dollars look we got that food with ex with the expectation we were going to pay for it which was fine but after the kind of experience that we had and kind of feeling like we'd already paid way too much for this and we didn't kind of get what we wanted um, or what we should have got um, we were a little bit upset that we then had to pay uh, more money for something but that is what it is they did offer us 50% off the food which I still think was a little bit too much but that's okay it wasn't until after that where there was a realization that I had a YouTube channel and after we left was there sort of a, uh, a message to us saying that they will offer us 50% off. While I'm so grateful that we got 50% off, and it wasn't until after we left, we did get a message to say that they'll offer us 50% off. So while we still paid for half of everything that we got, honestly, that price was still way too much for the room we ended up staying in. Um, but it is what it is. They did offer us something. At the end of the day, the experience that we had before going to bed was amazing. I'm not here to tell you whether you should go or you shouldn't go. You are completely free to make up your own decisions as to whether you go or not. But would I go back again? Probably not. I do want to just say as well that I'm sorry this um, video is kind of all over the place. This, this video is actually meant to be a full review and a full tour and a full everything just based on that place. But obviously we left in the morning. So, But thank you so much for watching to the end. Make sure you do smash that like button for me. Uh, we did have a trip to Lampang. We did a 24 hours in Lampang and we stayed in this really cute homestead. We had 
such a good experience. It was an amazing town and it was an amazing place to stay. So make sure you like and subscribe for that one. We have a lot more positive travel and a lot more things to share with you. I would just rather share everything rather than just the good things. Just so you know that if you're traveling, not everything always goes to plan. <laughs> but I'll see you in the next one. Bye.